So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is a beautiful Saturday afternoon here. Still a little bit warm and muggy, but it's a pretty nice day. But I'm out here at the new building, and I need to get this pad right here ready to pour concrete first thing Monday morning. Now I had this hunk of concrete in here. That was from the fence that used to be here, and it was about two inches too high. I probably could have left it alone, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to pull it out, backfill it with some stone, and tamp it real good. Now, if that form wasn't there, I would have just grabbed it with a thumb on the excavator, but I decided to wrap a chain around it just because they're all set and ready to go. So I got that out of there, backfilled, compacted, but it's still pretty wet in here. I think I'm going to let things dry out just a little bit more. I started putting a little bit of stone in over there, but I'll get this all graded up. I'll get the plate compactor out here and really hit this hard. I want to get this real tight, make sure it's good and solid and uh, we'll be good to go for Monday here. So if you saw the last video, you know we got all the concrete poured inside the building. Uh, the last pour the other day was 35 yards on this side of the building. The one before that was in the game room at that end. That was 20 yards, and this patio right here was 14. Now this is all that's left right here. This will be the last pour, at least for the foreseeable future. Now Tom and I were talking the other day when he was out here, and we got the laser out, and we did some figuring, uh, this pad right here is about an inch and a half, actually two inches lower than that one right there. And everything slopes this way, right here, over to this corner here. So as you can see, I'm a little bit high on the driveway right there, but I shot it with the laser, and I'm going to be in good shape. What I'll do, I'll go down the driveway there, just about 20 feet, 25 feet, and start shaving that down a little bit. And I'll have a little bit of swale right here. So all the water that lands on this pad, anything over here on the driveway, will go around that way and down the left side of the driveway instead of towards the building. So i got a few other things I can do for a couple hours. So I'm going to let this sit and dry out a little bit while the sun's shining. But last night we got hammered. We had three storms last night. And the one in particular, we had to have at least 60 mile an hour winds, tons of rain. Uh, there's a bunch of trees and limbs down on the road. I'm sure it's the same out there in the trails, but things are drying up pretty nice today. It's warm, sun's out, so we're all good. But anyway, I'll report back in a bit when I get back to work on this.
I was running the plate compactor there for about a half hour straight pretty close to grade I need a little bit more stone in a few places I'll put that in there right now rake it around a little bit hit it again with the plate compactor and uh, should be good to go here all right we're getting there I'm gonna check grade here a minute
So this corner right here, that's the low corner. All the water is going to drain that direction right there. As you can see, the driveway needs to come down just a little bit right through here. We're going to take the laser here and see how much. So this right here is the low spot on the concrete. Now we'll move over here. Now right where I'm standing right here, this is the same elevation as the top of the concrete over in that corner there. So really, to get some fall here, probably have to take about three inches out. Yeah, take about three inches out of here. Just shave this down a little bit and make kind of a, just a real gentle little swale here. You know, you won't even hardly notice it. But uh, from this side, it doesn't look as bad as it does from the other side. But yeah, this will actually work out okay. That's something I was thinking about. You know, when I started this building, we we're trying to figure out, you know, how high to set it. The proper elevation. And if, you know, if you had a big flat piece of ground or something, it would be pretty easy to do. But, you know, what we're doing right here in this corner, that affects what's on the other side, way over there. You know what I mean? So you kind of got to figure all that out and uh, get it where you want. But I think it actually worked out pretty good. Alright, I am ready to go for tomorrow. Now I did shave this down a little bit right over here, but I have to take it down a few more inches and I'm just not going to get into that this evening because I'm starting to get into the geotech style right there. So what I'll probably have to do is just dig it out, get it on grade, put some more geotech style down, you know, and restone it. But that'll be alright. Pretty excited. This will be the, uh, the last pour for the building, at least for now. Maybe eventually we'll do something down this side or something. But uh, with all this here, patio, and everything inside is, uh, I don't even know, 4,200 square feet of concrete. And by the way, that big pour that they did the other day in there, the 35-yard pour, uh, Tom has a good video on his channel, Concrete with the Hosses. I'll put that video up above. You should go check it out. I did one on that pour, but more just kind of looking what was going on tom went into some detail on what they do and why they do it and putting air in concrete versus not but anyway check that video out and subscribe to his channel it's a good channel and uh they're uploading a lot of good videos a couple other things i wanted to mention before i wrap this video up two things if you're building anything i would make sure that you have one is a plate compactor this one came from Harbor Freight, a little over 600 bucks. I have used this a ton just on this building right here. 
And the other thing is this rotating laser over here. Very, very handy to have around. And like I said, you know, this is a big building. You got to make sure your grades are right. You know, whatever you're doing over here affects what's on the back side of the building. It's a pretty big footprint. And uh, this Bosch rotating laser has been a huge, huge help. If I can find one of these on uh, Amazon, I'll put a link in the description. I think this is like $600. Yeah, something like that. 600 bucks worth every penny. But anyway, I think that's it for today's video. I really appreciate y'all being here. Uh, if you enjoy this content, you watch all our videos, please subscribe if you already haven't. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, share them with your friends. Thanks.